You see the title. Georgia City Councilman, interracial marriage is not how Christians should live. And here's the quote. I'm a Christian and my Christian belief are you don't do interracial marriage. When you see blacks and white together, it makes my blood boil because that's just not the way a Christian is supposed to live. That's what he said. Those are his quotes. And you know what? I am not mad at this dude. As a matter of fact, I respect this dude because of the fact that he's real with it. This is what you call transparent. And I'm sure that he know black people. I know that he get along with black people. And there are even some blacks that may even call him friend and he called them friend. But yet they have a mutual understanding. They know where he stand and he knows where they stand. But I give him his props because he's honest. We're living in a society today where people don't want to acknowledge that racism is alive and well. Now, according to the Bible, the Bible teaches against interracial marriages. Now, I know that there's people that say, well, the New Testament says this and we're not under the old law but we're under a new dispensation. I know that there's people out there that agree with that. But to keep it completely honest, black people really can't get mad. I really don't know why blacks would get mad at this man's beliefs, especially with Black Lives Matter, especially with all of these protests of black women protesting white women because white women were repping or representing black women hair care products. Especially after the fact that there are so many white folks, young people that dress in blackface. Or you have corporations that put racial images on their products to draw attention to their products. That they may monetize off of the anger and the emotion of black people. But I give this guy props because he's only keeping it real. Now, from what I understand, he's a conservative. And of course, in this article, they're gonna make that turn towards Trump. And I'm gonna read the article and then I'm gonna give my brief thoughts and opinions and then I'll put the link on the bottom you guys can check it out for yourself Bible Belt Racism a Georgia City Councilman defends his mayor's decision to discriminate against a black man for citing his sincerely held Christian beliefs and his opposition to interracial marriages now on YouTube there are countless number of videos where black people are against interracial marriages. Primarily black females that have an issue with black men dating outside of their race. But at the same time, black women applaud, celebrate, and support other black females that choose to date outside of their race. And they feel that once they date a white man or an Arab, that they've won a lotto ticket. They believe that that white man is going to take better care of them than the black man. He's going to treat her a lot better than the black man solely because of the fact that he's a white man. He can be complete white trash, but she only sees that he's a white man. And in prior videos, I spoke on black females that have grandchildren 
that was produced by a dark-skinned man and a dark-skinned woman. And then there's one child in the family that they interracially married or brought a child forward. The biracial child gets more love than the child that have both parents that are melanated. So there's racism even among the black community. But yet when they read articles like this, they get offended and they wanna start screaming white supremacy because that's all you see. You can type that on YouTube and you see so many videos where black people are talking about white supremacy and how much they hate white people and how much they hate interracial marriages or relationships. It said recently, Mayor Teresa Kennerly of Houston, Georgia, confessed to rejecting a candidate for city administrator because he's black. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution reports, Mayor Kennerly told a member of the city council she pulled the resume of Keith Henry from a packet of four finalists because he is black and the city isn't ready for this. Now, I could also look at this as being honest and it could also look at it as saving this person or making this person aware of what type of energy that's in that city because you have so many blacks that take on certain roles or responsibilities job functions and once they get inside that job function they notice that the people that always smiled in their face that always went to lunch with them even bought them lunch now they change and they have a completely different attitude towards them and they wonder why people change towards them. Well, because of the fact that you were not in position of authority. They didn't have to worry about a black man or a black woman over them and making decisions for them. So now their true colors begin to start manifesting itself. You start seeing them for who they really are. And then the political games start being played. And then you want to cry racism and discrimination when reality is, it's always been there, but you were just too blind to see it. Or you refuse to believe it was there. And you wanted to believe that everyone loved you and respected you, but in reality, they loved and respected you only if you remain in your place. It says, the fact that Mayor Kennelly rejected a job applicant because he is black is simply despicable. Now, I don't know why it is despicable, but I don't know why it's such a shock to people. Again, too many people are living in a delusion, especially demon craps. And there's a reason why I'm bringing politics into this because this is politics. And it says, and to their credit, Several city council members spoke out against the blatant racism. But some on the city council defended the mayor's open racism. Now, again, you're going to have people and even racist people that's going to speak out against it because they want your votes later on. They want to be able to come back and say, I fought for black people. So therefore, because I fought for you, you should vote for me. Just like we see happening with the Demon Crap Party, Joe Biden, Hillary Clinton, and even Kamala Harris. It says, for example, Houston City Councilman Jim Cleveland defended Mayor Kennerly saying she might have been right to discriminate against the black applicant, Cleveland said. I don't know how they would take it if we selected a black administrator. She might have she might have been right. 
So, who are they? He said, I don't think, I don't know how they would take it. So, who's the they? Is it the whites of the community? And not just whites because you have so many blacks that's racist against blacks and don't want to see blacks in certain leadership positions and refuse to give other blacks the respect of the position that they're in. And they prefer to have white people over them. So who are the they that they are referring to? It says Councilman Cleveland then went on to explain that he is a Christian. And as a Christian, he has a problem with race mixing, Cleveland said. I am a Christian and my Christian beliefs are you don't do interracial marriage. That's the way I was brought up and that's the way I believe. And that's how a lot of black folk think towards being a Democrat. So you can't really blame this man for holding on to the principles that he was raised in. Just like black people were raised as a demon crap. It says Cle Cleveland added, I have black friends. I hired black people. But when it comes to all of this stuff you see on TV, when you see blacks and white together, it makes my blood boil because that's just not the way a Christian is supposed to live. It says Cleveland's position is deplorable. But not surprising, many conservative Christians are racist. One need only to look at the overwhelming support Trump currently enjoys from conservative Christians to understand the deep racism that continues to flourish in white conservative Christian communities. Now this right here is a political statement. Elections are coming up in 2020 and they want to paint the picture to black people because of course the demon craps think black people are ignorant and I will be doing a video on Joe Biden. Now Joe Biden said in the past that they're going to put y'all back in chains. A fear tactic to black people to let you know that look you going back in chains. You're a slave. And there are black people that fear that. And then recently Joe Biden just got done saying like, oh, what is that? Uh, he made another racist statement recently. Where, and I'll, and I'll, as a matter of fact, I'll mention that in the new video that I make when I talk about Joe Biden. And I'll show you, as, as a lot of y'all black YouTubers like to say, the receipts on that, okay? Because he threatened Jim Crow. You know, oh, they're going to bring back Jim Crow. So you're going to have black people that's ignorant, that's going to be afraid, and they're going to vote him into office. Joe Biden is doing nothing but showing his true races. Now, I'd be a fool to deceive myself into believing that there's no racist or white supremacist conservatives. I'd be ignorant to believe that there are no racist or white supremacist Republicans. I'd be naive and ignorant into believing that there are no racist or white supremacist demon crap. As a matter of fact, when you go to a restaurant, how would you know that that person that's serving your food, that's coming to your table with a big smile and you give them a pretty nice sized tip, what make you think that's not a white supremacist? What make you think that your babysitter, your daycare center, or the people that you work next to is a white supremacist? Although y'all go to lunch together and you have the biggest smile on your face when you're amongst them. But how do you know that they are not white supremacists? Or they're not racist? You don't know. Because we're living in a society where people are forced 
to repress their true thoughts, their true feelings, their true ideas. To keep from having their videos demonetized, people play it safe. They make it seem like they love everybody, they want to accept everyone, but inside, they're cursing you out. And so, when we see, when I read articles like this, and then they take the attention off of the real subject of the article, and they start talking about many conservative Christians are racist, that's a political move to send messages to black people that you should stay with the Democrat party. You should vote for us because conservatives are racist. When in reality, it was the Democrats that enslaved you. But that's another video. The only difference is that most conservative Christians are not as open with their racism as Councilman Cleveland. We forget about Hillary Clinton and the hot sauce. We forget about Hillary Clinton when she said that blacks are deplorable or Trump supporters are deplorable and how blacks need to heal. They're called super predators. See, we forget about that. We forget the fact that Bill Clinton incarcerated how many black people? And it's not just white people that did it. Look at Kamala Harris. Look at how many black people she incarcerated. And Joe Biden, they're going to put y'all back in chains. They're going to bring back Jim Crow. Racist fear tactics that they use on black people and it's sad that in 2019 it still works and that's why they can use it so freely because they're black people that's going to support them look at the amount of money that was raised for Joe Biden it's actually you could actually make money it's lucrative for white Christians or white Democrats or Republicans or politicians to be racist. It's lucrative because they're going to get that crowd to give money because we know black people aren't giving the money. So where's Joe Biden getting these supports from, these endorsements? It's from the racist whites because he's speaking their language to black people. They're going to put y'all back in chains. They're going to bring back Jim Crow. Right? The only difference is that most conservative Christians are not as open with their racist racism as Councilman Cleveland. Bottom line, while defending Mayor Teresa Kennerly after she refused to consider a job applicant because he was black, Houston City Councilman Jim Cleveland declares he's a Christian and that seeing blacks and white together makes his blood boil because that's just not the way a Christian is supposed to live. Can you feel the Christian love? So share this article. I'm going to put this link on the bottom. You guys can check it out for yourself, but I'm not mad at dude. This is the way he feels. Because black people have always been saying how they feel about white people. Everything is about black. Black lives matter. Uh, black this and black that and black this and black that. And we don't hear too many white people talking about white this and white that. But yet, what they're doing, we hear, a lot, we hear about a lot of racism in the media and in politics because that's how they're able to get under black skin and to control and manipulate you. Black people are being controlled by blackness. They're controlling you with racism and discrimination. Even on Facebook, I see so many black females posting old articles of a black man being hanged in Mississippi 
or somewhere in the south or this person's a racist or this person said this he's a racist and then when I go back and look at the article it's like 2012 2014 they're old articles because that makes black people's blood boil it gets a reaction from people see that's how they keep black people on the democrat plantation throw a little bit of racism out there trump is racist all the the people that's following him is a racist this person's a white supremacist that's a racist that's a racist that's a racist that's xenophobic that's a racist that's a racist and black people's mind is so clouded i watched um jesse lee peter's video and he had one where he was interviewing people on the street um, asking them about the border wall and I noticed that he was having a pretty good dialogue with certain people and the minute he mentioned Trump it's like they jumped it, it, it's almost like the minute he mentioned Trump they went into a trance you can actually see there was two black females one looked like a dyke and he was talking to them and they was like oh well, yeah, I'm against this and I'm against the borders and they should build up the wall. And, and and then he mentioned Trump and it's like they literally jumped. Their whole being just kind of, and it's like they kind of snapped into a trance and they became angry and started saying F Trump. F Donald Trump. F Donald Trump. They walked, the whole energy changed. That's not by coincidence. Black people and white people were conditioned to feel that way. You don't know why you feel that way. You just feel you hate the man. He did nothing wrong, but you hate the man because you were brainwashed and programmed into hating that man. Now, go back and watch that video. It's on uh, Justin Peters' um, The Fallen State channel. And when he was out doing interviews, and just watch the reaction of people the minute he mentioned Donald Trump. Watch their action. They immediately snap into a trance and become angry. That's all by design. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe, check out the donate button and click here. Until next time. I'm fearless.